In this episode of OS First Timer, Dyer will be using Claude's 3.5 Sonnet to code her a game in HTML5 and JavaScript. Will her game be as good as the example games I created to demonstrate the power of Claude? Keep watching to find out. So here you are with Claude 3.5 Sonnet by Anthropic, and today you're going to be coding your own game from scratch using JavaScript and HTML5. Trying to do this without any experience would usually be a nightmare for beginners, but you'll be making a game today by telling the AI to code it for you. How about we just use Copilot? Because Claude's really good at this. Copilot's like good, but Copilot. this is even better for, for coding right now. So this was released on the 21st of June, 2024. Okay, this is Claude 3.5 Sonnet. Now you did try Claude out. Remember when we were doing it and it... And I like, preferred Copilot. Because it thought the dog might have been a dog or a cat and started yes. image recognition. Well, that was Claude version 3. This is 3.5 now. There's been an update since March back then so it's not it's only half an update <laughs> 3.5 yeah and the original Claude 3 came out on March 14th in three versions mm -hmm. so you had Claude 3 haiku the higher up the more intelligent it is but the like the longer it takes to respond and stuff mm -hmm. there was Claude 3 haiku sonnet and opus okay and Claude 3.5 is already smarter than oh. the old one, the, the old best one, the, the sonnet version, but this with, is supposed to be the middle. With a faster response time. These three versions here, they only came out on March 14th. Now, Claude 3.5 Sonnet is also killing it when it comes to the benchmarks against GPT-4.0, Gemini 1.5 Pro, and, of course, Llama 400B. But, yeah. Copilot, there's no mention of Copilot. Copilot generally uses GPT version 4. So to see how good it is, and give an example of what you're going to be doing today, here's a video, uh, this was uploaded by Anthropic themselves, showing you how you can use their Claude to create a game all in one space with their new artifact system and everything like that. So let's check it out. So it says, can you create an 8-bit style crab for me? So it's coding the look of the crab, and it developed it. Now can you make some seashells in the same style? And it says, okay, I'll make some seashells. And it codes it. You don't do the coding, it does the coding. And there's the seashells. Okay, it's 8-bit style, so it's supposed to be an 80s game. How about some clouds? There's some clouds. So far, I'm not that impressed. Let's inline these into a simple side-scrolling game in HTML5. So it's getting all of that, coding an entire game now. And now it's showing, yep, it's a side-scrolling little game. But you've done no coding to make this. Gosh, that looks like something now, I would have played back it, in the 80s. Yeah, let's make it playable. Have the crab jump over the oncoming seashells and maybe add some styling. I want to call this crab, crab Claude. But the fact he said maybe... Yeah. Doesn't mean this will then. It might... The Claude might decide, oh, well, he only said maybe. Yeah, if he Forget thinks. about... Of course. You know? Anyway, um, see, and you can see all this code here. Imagine trying to code all that yourself. You know? Reminds me back and look, the time when I used to jump, code BASIC. Jump and two, I used to love BASIC. It was do you think that's a, a cool great... system, though? It's literally Claude, Claude's Retro Beach Arcade and the score. And every time you jump over, you get a point. Yeah, yeah. And, that, and that's that. And obviously, if you hit it, game over. Mm -hmm. Retry. So you're going to make something like that. Before you do, I'll just show you how I made something with it very quickly. Um, but could it be a little bit more like the graphics would be a bit more better and just just like mm, cu current day graphics and no, stuff? No, no, because you're... You, you, that would be impressive. Yeah, it can help you make games like that in a different way, but not with their little online like artifacts in HTML5 because we're just doing JavaScript in HTML5 today and we don't have actual graphics it's getting from. It's just drawing shapes on so the no screen. So no wonder it's called, refers to as artifacts because it's all old stuff. No, it's the not... artifacts is... A, is, is a new system where you can have little bits and pieces on top of your chat where it's got like you can have the crab code and stuff and then use oh, I just thought it meant together. old style because <laughs> technically that's very old style game I mean that that, that that was the type of game I played in the 80s I will show you well that's what it was trying to go with 8 bit so I said create a 16 bit game that I can play right now so 16 bits more like I guess late 80s early 90s and, I, and it says okay I'll be happy to create one for you so it creates one, and it says you use the left and right arrow keys to move the red square, your character, right and left, and you can press up to jump. So have a little go of that. So what am I pressing? Sorry. Left and right. This. Yeah. Uh huh. And notice when you press right or left. Oh, and I jumped. Yeah. 
But notice when you Oh, press... but I don't dig when I Yeah, know. you don't dig. And do you notice it's annoying because you put your finger on right and it moves one spot. <laughs> and do you notice you can't jump across yeah, while you can't. you're moving? It's yeah. a pretty crappy yeah, yeah. thing. Okay. I said, okay, the movement is really choppy when going left to right. Because this is, I think, the worst part of this, where you go, where you go like this. You press the button and there's a, a delay. See? Boom. Mm. Yeah, because in a game that could really make the difference of yeah. being precise with jumping over. Because you'd press it, but by the time it reacts, you've already bumped into the thing. Exactly. So I said, yeah, so can we introduce a bit of momentum for the main character? Also, can we have the character be a soccer ball, make it look well starred with grass strands for the ground, add a scrolling level with a hole to jump over and maybe some boulders to jump over too. Okay. If we go this way... You're off the screen. Uh -huh. <laughs> there's, there's nothing. Oh, there's well, no that's a good way to hide then. You won't <laughs> bump into anything. So I says, yeah, certainly I'll dress it. I'll add some momentum, yada, yada, yada. And, okay, it's more like a ball now, the character. But it's staying still and the ground is moving beneath it, but the ball is staying still. Move the ball a bit. Go ahead. Now stop moving. Do you notice something? The ground isn't moving, it's just that the grass is animated, but it's animating it in such a way that looks ridiculous. And there's your hole that you can't fall down because oh, it didn't code that. And there's a boulder that you can't jump over because <laughs> you can't move. <laughs> you can't move sideways uh, while you're jumping. Get a run up. No, you can't. Oh, I almost you can't. did. It's no. impossible Let's because see. the momentum Maybe a stops. Big one. Let's see. That it's... No, wow. you can't. Oh, so, I nearly did. This would be a challenge in itself, trying to do this. I want to try. Can't. You can't. I'm determined. We've got to move on to your game now. We can't oh, wait, stick no. too oh. long in this. Oh. Okay. So I said, okay. can you uh, make the right and left movement a bit faster? I can't jump over the boulder. Also, the grass looks like it's animating too fast. Can you slow down the animation, make it more like tufts of grass swaying slowly in the wind and add some trees to the background too? And I said, oh, okay, silly, I'll do all that. That looks more like Minecraft, a little bossy. <laughs> now, look, it's animating the grass and yeah. I said, it's tufts of grass slowly swaying in the wind. They're just a bit too oh, blocky That for just me. looks abnormal. Yeah, that, that would be Minecraft tufts, tufts of grass. <laughs> Us swaying in the wind. So that's what that would have be. a little go moving about now. It's still I still didn't address that problem, but you can have a explore now. No. You don't jump over the tree, you walk past it. It's in the oh. background. <laughs> I was wondering why oh. you why are you having so much trouble with this background tree? But yeah, you still can't really jump over that boulder Let's yet. See. You, you can't. Oh I almost <laughs> did. Can't. Let's see. No, okay, okay. I'm really fine. No, come on. No, okay, that's it, that's it. So, oh, I said, look. Make the boulder just that little bit smaller. No, I and said. I bet you I would. I've noticed when I jump, the ball stops moving in the direction, either left or right, that it's moving, even though I'm still holding the arrow key down. Can you make it recognise that I'm still holding down an arrow key so it doesn't just stop left or right movement when I jump? Also, I want some flowers of different colours on the ground. And, but not blocky. Yeah. Well, and can you make the sky gradient a blue with some fluffy clouds? You could see random a, fluffy a gradient, clouds. Yeah, random fluffy clouds. And it actually followed it, and every time you play the game, it actually the clouds are in different spots. So okay. they're literally random. So And the blue gradient sky where it's given the colour. Now, this definitely helps. And look at that nice blue sky, how that's helped it. See, it's like a darker at the top, lighter at the bottom. But they look like little coloured balls now. Yeah, they're supposed to be flowers. Okay. Have another little move around. Try it. Oh, it's a little bit too. I said make wow. it faster, and he made it faster. <laughs> and do you notice? You can now jump, stop, stop, stop. You can now jump, and it doesn't stop you moving in a direction. So you can jump I early. Did it. Yeah, and jump. <laughs> and go back. Go back. You tried to do that so for so fast long. Is speed of light. Yeah, but see. <laughs> See now, though. Watch. I want to go jump in the other direction. Leave me alone. Where... <laughs> I did it. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you were so determined. I am. Oops. What is now. That? Okay. 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 Come on. Now, okay. what I found about this, though, is that, um, look, you can now jump over like that. You know what yep, I mean? Yep. You can now jump. 
Yeah. And you don't stop in midair. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. you don't just stop left or right yeah. as soon as you jump. So that's good. But I found it a little bit too fast. <laughs> I, said, I don't mind that. That's um, okay. Yeah, so I said, okay, let's slightly slow down the max oh, ball and less speed with a bit. Joy. And make jumps a bit more floaty, similar to Mario games. Make it so the ball graphic rotates as it rolls. I didn't mind this. But stops when it's still to show a sense of speed and realism. Okay, so what you're noticing is when this ball is moving... Well, you'd get to places pretty quick if this was real. But do you notice how it doesn't... The ball doesn't roll. It stays yeah, yeah. like north, south, east, west. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So let's actually have it increase the speed of the roll when it moves and stuff. And that will give it some realism. Also, let's increase the time it takes to reach max horizontal speed of the ball to three seconds rather than instant speed. Because look at this. You just instantly start off <laughs> fast. Sort of, like a rocket. I like that. You know what I mean? Uh, I do like the fact that there's a bit of... See, there's a bounce when I let go. So it bounced into a bit of a momentum. And I said, can we make the flowers a bit more complex with stems and petals? I said, oh, certainly I'll do all those changes for you. Okay. And oh, then, as okay. you can see, it's, it's, it's listening and watch the ball rolling. It rolls. Okay. See, the actual... Yep, yep. You see? Yep. Now let's see... Wee wee. So there we go. <laughs> so it still goes off screen though, doesn't it? Oh yeah, I didn't extend it in this particular one. And then I said, okay, let's extend the map to the right to double the total size. Let's add a town with six different houses to the new part of the map and have the town accessed via stairs and have the ground made of stone bricks for the town and stuff. Oh, okay. So I thought, okay, and That's it's like certainly I'll extend it. And then do you know what I happened? It said Claude's response was limited and hit the maximum length allowed at this time. Oh. So in this, you know how you can only chat so much in a thing? Oh, well, so you what should I did, have said this at the beginning. So what I did is I copied and pasted the code and I started a Again. chat. Oh, good. Here's a file. And I said, okay, let's extend the map of this game. So it, it's seeing this game for the first time. Mm. And I said, it won't fit in a single response. Give it to me in two halves. So mm. it's like, okay, here's the first half of your code. And look at how complex this code is already for this game. All of this. Just for a little All of that, like every every house, you got to do that. The, houses. the tree, oh, see, wow. still going. The flowers, yep. draw the clouds, and all this stuff. I don't understand why you didn't just skip all the code at once. Because you can't give it at once. Because per response, see this response here. Mm -hmm. In a single response, including this code here, it can only say so much, and it reached the limit where it literally could oh, not finish giving me the code in a single response. So I said, give it to me in two responses. Well, if we wanted a really, really good, like, modern sort of game, give it to me in a hundred responses or yeah. you know, And then it would do it, wouldn't uh, it? Yeah, you wouldn't do it in JavaScript and say, so you'd, you'd do it a bit. In fact, Minecraft is in Java, funnily enough. Well, no is, wonder it it's boxy. That's probably why. <laughs> anyway, I did a few more updates. I had a few more chats with Claude. It just got a bit hard over time because it couldn't even fit in two responses anymore. So I just did a few more things to add to it. And we ended up with this. There are apples in the but tree. One's Jumped off okay, the tree. I didn't get to code it. It's basically the tree is technically a square. Right. And it's drawn it in a triangle. And I said, draw the apples on the tree randomly. And it's drawn it there. But 50% of the time, the apples aren't going to be in the tree. Now, you've okay. got the thing up here apple zero, money zero. So can you just jump and collect some apples? Okay. Oh, wait a Oh. What? Yeah, collect some apples. You got one apple. Oh, one? <laughs> well, this is. That it's a bit hard. Ridiculous. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Oh, so you can see we're getting some game mechanics going on here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, okay. Ah. Go across to the town now. You can check out the town because there's a, a the town now. So this is probably another five chats I did. I to got on game. top. Yeah, you did. Oh. So have another chat. I mean, have a, go to the town. Sorry, keep going. Town's up here. Now, when you go to the shop, it says Apple Shop. Press E to sell apples. And what, you've got nine apples. Press E. Now you got nine dollars. Oh, okay. So you collect okay. money. Get so you back can and go get some more. And see, it's it's it's. Oh, oh wait a sec. What? I can't get those ones. I don't think you can get that really high one. Oh, oh you it did. Just you spawned. Did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they've respawned. I've oh, got the okay. trees I can every make fifteen money forever, seconds. Then. <laughs> but anyway, you you oh, then go back to the town, sell those four yeah. apples, and then you'd have more money. So this is the idea of trying to add game mechanics to the game. You know, these oh, are wow. variables or constants. I don't know what you call them, but there's something. In Visual Basic, you'd call these variables, like the amount of apples you've got would be an integer, your money would be an integer, and so on. Or a double if you want to get into doubles, but anyway. Okay, so we're going to finish up now. It's time for you I'm to make, make your own money. game. Okay, let's just go here. 
press E to sell apples. Now you've got $23. Okay, that's it. So what you could then do is you could then expand this. Maybe, uh, look, jumping on the roof of the house. So, wait, let me see if I can jump across. Or, I mean, that could be a, an achievement in the game. If you jump across all the roofs, you A will secret get, achievement. Yeah, the secret you achievement. You don't One, know. Two, three. <laughs> yeah, I did it. <laughs> so you could add more stuff over here, okay. you know what I mean? But anyway, um, each of these could be a different shop. This is the Apple shop. And the maybe next this one could shop, be the Mac shop. Maybe this, <laughs> maybe this could be a place where you buy a plank and then you use the plank to cover the holes so you can't fall in the holes anymore. But, I but don't you're know not the falling holes. in the holes. I know, holes I know. Anyway. But you use money and it costs $50 for a plank and then you mm -hmm. cover the holes. Then maybe over here there's or a city. Or you pay money to make another ball to go and collect apples continuously. Yeah, yeah. So that would be so. make turn it into what you'd call an idle game and then it yeah. would go collect apples, bring you money and then you use that money to develop, I don't know, maybe over here there's a city but you can't get to the city unless you've got an aeroplane or a boat yeah, and you yeah. buy a boat from one of the boat shop and then you can get to a new place and mm -hmm. do new things and set up all these businesses everywhere so your, your mind like can really go in the distance yeah. notice how it's it's got the concept whereby the clouds are moving at a slower that's pace. called parallax scrolling yep ah. so the foreground which is everything here is moves faster. at one and speed and that's realistic yeah yeah and the and the background if you're traveling by car everything that's close to you is going fast yeah. But then the, the sky in the distance with the clouds is going much slower. So that's quite realistic. You don't have to make a platform. You didn't even tell it to do that, did you? It knew. I don't know if I told it to do that. Oh. Um, I think it knew, though. You could make another type of game. Like, here was another game I made where you actually... Um, there's these atoms on the screen and they split uh -huh. um, into two. Um, I don't know why the, the top of the screen isn't quite showing. Oh, there we go. And then they keep splitting and you can't have more than ten atoms on the screen. And you click on the atoms to get money, right, oh, okay. for $4 and stuff like that. And then you use these to buy more atoms and upgrades and stuff oh, like that okay. and eventually make it so you can have more atoms on the screen at once and maybe you get different types of atoms. Shit, 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 I'm gonna, I, I've got to get rid of these. I can't aim it. I can't have more than 10 atoms because then I'm dead weight. Red atoms can also split now and they give you more money. Wait, yeah, there's yeah. a chance for red. And you can upgrade the cursor and make it yeah. bigger. You get what I mean? See, there you go. Red atoms, and they give you two dollars each and stuff. Mm -hmm. So that that's another little kind of game I just came up with on the top of my okay. head. And you you could create something like this if you wanted. You can make mm -hmm. anything you want. Okay, just so you know, it doesn't have to be a side scroller. But maybe you okay. like side scrollers. Are you ready? Wow! You're okay. gonna now make a game. So what kind of game do you think you'll make? Plan it out first. Well, it's got to involve chickens. Is the main character going to be a chicken yep. or is the main character a dog that looks after chickens? Or No, because I don't want anything. Because looking after something denotes that there's a danger to it and I don't yeah. want any danger to the chicken. <laughs> so there's going to be chickens. Okay. And the chickens can be finding seeds. Yeah. And the seeds are hiding in all different locations. Okay. Finding Actually, seeds. it can be a multiplayer and you're, each person's a chicken and whoever finds the most seats. We're going to obviously have to make that a local multiplayer because we're not going to make it an online game. So I could use the well, WASP... You never know, there might be others <laughs> that want to play that. I could use the WASP keys to move and you use the arrow keys and then we've got two characters on the screen yeah. at once. Yeah. Okay. Create. Uh, I, I decided to because it's for the purpose of yeah. demonstrating on this. Okay. And we'd run out of keys on the keyboard, and we, <laughs> and we don't have enough people anyway here. It can't really do that. Well, uh, make see. sure you say in HTML5. Really well, I don't have a compiler to have it in Python or something at the moment. You know what I mean? What you're talking about right now is just, I just, don't understand. Just use okay? the term, create a two-player realistic HTML5 game. Very real. <laughs> But it can't. It doesn't it's, matter. It's Let's doing see. shapes. It's I doing don't shapes. Care. It, it's not actually Let's creating do very proper real graphics. Shapes. Let's say two minutes. One minute. It's too long on camera. Then one minute. Okay. After one. There's various different ways to develop games. One of the techniques is called the prototyping technique, where you kind of you just you you create something simple and then you add to it later kind of what i was doing you don't want to do everything at once because, i do want to do everything because then all the mechanics will come to get together and they won't work and you want to make sure the mechanics you've got work well before can we have sounds have the chickens doing bok 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 i don't think the sounds work I, do, I don't think sound effects have... will work i don't think it can make sounds well we'll see so you've said, create a two-player realistic HTML5 game whereby the characters are chickens that look very real and are distinguishable from each other. And the object of the game is for the chickens to collect the most seeds after one minute wins the game. Uh, one player will have the WASD keys while the other player controls the chicken with the arrow keys. 
have the number of seeds that each chicken has collected displayed at the top for player one and top right for player two. Have the seeds randomly hidden around the screen whereby you can move objects to look behind them. Have the chickens making chicken sounds. Yeah. Okay, so let's see what it does. I'll be happy to create that which with chickens collecting seeds. Well, I can't create the actual game access like realistic looking chickens or sounds. I can provide you with the HTML jump. Look how fast it works. That's how fast it codes. God, imagine you trying to do that yourself. I know. Like you What's would... with the little funny little... Oh, that's just thing. saying it's still generating. I'm not finished yet. Okay. I'm still responding. Okay, game area. So, whoa. What's this? This is your game. Well, what are all those... <laughs> Console message. Cluck. <laughs> Cluck, because it can't actually make sound. But so what's it's got all in those the... silly dots? So, look. Oh, they're hiding. I... Oh, this is me. Oh. I collect seeds. Play two. I've got two seeds. So... The seeds, those oh. yellow seeds are too hard to say. And see, you've got seven, I've got two seeds. And it's got the timer there. I'm going to just get some more quickly. This is too hard for you to see. <laughs> I can see them. <laughs> I did it. I did. I got, you got 11 and I got eight. There you go. Now we've got to wait for the time to finish. So looking at this, I can already see some issues. The seeds are too hard to see. No, they're not. I saw them. No, I saw them, but I'm just, oh, look, cluck, cluck, cluck. <laughs> it's just saying cluck, cluck, cluck. So it's done it as a top-down game, which is what I okay. agree with. It's, it's not like where you jump and there's yeah, physics. Yeah, yeah, it's I from see. above. There's chickens and we're but looking from above. But you can't move objects. It's not moving objects. Look at that. Yeah, you, you simply move I wonder if we bump into them. each other. No, we can't. We, okay, you have, you have so to we say, didn't do it the way There needs to I be, said. yeah. Okay, let's just see what happens when the time gets to zero. Oh, and when the time gets to zero... It doesn't actually show oh. the player winning. Cluck, 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 okay, cluck, so yeah. that's why you need to see it and then say it. Yeah. I mean, I'm a, I'm a blue square, you're a red square. Yeah. How is that a chicken? I think these personally should be trees and obstacles and... that you can't cross, and it's almost like a maze you've got to work your way through. Do you get what I mean? They're obstacles, and maybe there should be foxes that go across the screen, and you've got to dodge the foxes while collecting oh, the seeds fox, to add it, some... No, but didn't I say I didn't want the predator... <laughs> it's it, a game! I don't okay, want okay. the chicken's harmed. So you want to keep it G-rated, okay. The foxes would still keep it G-rated, as long as there's no blood. Okay. I just don't want any chickens harmed. If you're thinking... Because at the, the end of this, I want to mm. say no chickens were harmed in the... Well, no chickens would be harmed anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you may. Even digital chickens. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead with this. You need to fix this. There are problems. Let's go two problems at a time in each problem. Well, the problem is it, it didn't, didn't create realistic okay. chickens when I asked okay. it to create realistic. So the problem it... doesn't lie with me, it lies with it. Okay, so can you make the chickens look more like chickens? Also, when the timer oh, you... gets to zero, have a message appear. To that, say which chicken. Yeah, are. that declares the winner. And that chicken flashes. Have that chicken flash, flash on the to screen. show it one. Yeah. Also add a play again button. Well, let's see what it does here. So we've said, can you make the chicken? But didn't one? we want to make it down to 30 seconds too? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> I should have said that. But anyway, um, it's doing it now. Certainly I'll update it. I hope you don't run out of space. Don't run out of space. Just for this. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, good. I've made several improvements. I don't. What's that? Well, where it's apparently a chicken, but where are you? Oh, wait, you're hiding. Oh, wait a sec, but no, I can't move. You it. use oh. the arrow keys. Oh. So you, you collect them oh, all. Oh, no, but... you, you started I'll re the game. Okay, I'll restart. Me. I'll restart. Three, two, go. Okay. Nine. You got nine, I got eight. Nine <laughs> and eight. We should make the text bigger, too. Okay. All that text at the top, I think, should okay. be bigger. Maybe just 15 seconds, because look, cluck, we did cluck. it literally. Yeah, and I think they should respawn over time, though. You get no, what I, I mean? don't. I, I want there to be a limited number. I don't want you just to be able to luckily just move around and just bump into seeds. You need okay. to strategically find okay. the seeds. Player two is a winner. And look, it's flashing like you said. Yeah. Make the text at the top of the screen larger yep. you agree with that what else would you do to it well make the objects actually like trees and flower random things replace the brown squares with random objects real you would find on a farm no 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 just random objects full stop because yes, i'm curious to look, see what it comes okay with. that look real i've spelt it wrong but i don't know what i'm talking about add collision detection to start 15 seconds at 15 seconds no not start at 15 seconds yeah. to 
be 15 seconds in total. I really want to get rid of that console. It's, it's so annoying there. What, the cluck, cluck, cluck? The cluck, cluck, cluck. It's useless. It just takes up space at the bottom of the screen saying cluck, cluck, cluck. <laughs> it's so useless. <laughs> there are better ways to code um, than doing it like this. You can have an LLM sort of integrated into your actual coding environment. What happened? Because it did all the code, but for some reason... The game just is blank. It doesn't load now. It's, it said all the things it did. Let's explain to it. Troubleshoot. What do you want to say? Oh. Well, what's it saying? The now page is unresponsive. Is it that hard to do a two-player chicken game collecting seeds? Seriously? What do you want to say? The screen is white? What do you want to Where's say? Where's the game? I can't. So, the screen is white, I can't see the game, and Chrome is warning that the page is unres- I apologise, um, there seems to be a performance problem causing the page to become unresponsive. Let's optimise the code to improve performance and ensure the game is visible. I'll make some changes to address these issues. Oh, oh wow, seriously? there we go. Now we're back to squares oh, again. No. Oh, no. And they're, they're not even objects. And... Oh, yeah, and you're collecting all the seeds. No. Started. <laughs> but the text is bigger, and the cluck, cluck, cluck is gone. And I win. I'm glowing. <laughs> just make them an object that's understandable. Tree stumps. No, just what? random. I want no, to no, see okay. random objects. Think of three objects. No, I want it to be unlimited. They won't fit the code because each object adds so and much look, more code. And look, there's seeds that are caught in the object which you can <laughs> never catch. Change the brown squares to what? Random objects. No, 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 not random. We random, really gotta... distinguishable no, objects. No, no, no. Can you just tell me what the objects are? Because it's having trouble. Flowers okay. and trees. Change the brown squares to flowers, trees, and, trees cows. and cows. Cows. Okay. One thing at a time. Because obviously it's just, it's having trouble. And let's actually play this next one together because, you know, we didn't get to play that last one. No, it you wasn't just commandeered the whole thing <laughs> and claimed victory. Oh, that's a bit better. And even so the chickens this is me. are slightly... You're the brown chicken. Oh, the grey chicken. Grey? Yeah, that's... That's a, a bluey chicken. Well, that's you there. Two, one, go. Oh. Oh, we stand it. Oh, the, we moved too fast around the screen. <laughs> it's so hard to collect them. <laughs> I got that, that, that. That and that. <laughs> I, <laughs> I got can't, 12. I can't Yay, do it. I did it. I can't I, do look, it. I get to glow. Do you want to try again? Try again. I like the little trees. They're cute. I mean, we must be some oh, massive wow. T-Rex chickens. <laughs> the evolution messed up. Okay, go. Do you think we moved the screen too fast? Yes. Around? I can't even see where you I won. Moved. You won. I won. Nine and you were... Move. You, I can't see the score. <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> You're like trying to hide your score. Play two wins. Okay, we'll just leave it at play two winning. Okay. Do. So what do you think? I think your game's coming along quite nicely. But we can't collect the ones that are... What are those? What, oh, they're the cows, are they? Yeah, those are cows. They look more like rabbits with big ears. <laughs> I think there needs to be an enemy type. I think we need to move slower. And Why do you an have to type. introduce something bad? Because... I said no chickens are to be harmed. Have the cows walk around the screen, and if they touch you, you die. No! Okay, if they, they touch, touch you... you, you fall asleep. And if they touch you, you lose all your seeds. Okay, that'll They eat the, ca the cows eat your seeds. Okay. okay. Are you happy with that? Yep. Okay. I, I think the game's coming along mildly okay. Oh, wait. This message will exceed the limit limit oh, length for this chat. But we'll do it we can so start it in it. All I'll do is I'll grab the code. You can see I've got this HTML file now. Mm -hmm. Chicken.html. You can just literally give that to anyone and they can play the game full screen with their mm -hmm. friends. So this is this is a game you can pass around. Send it to anyone on USB. And email I'm it. I'm sure that with all the modern games out there, people are going to be wanting to play this Yeah. Game. You email mm -hmm. this to people. Oh, no, this, this movement works well. What you would do, and that's annoying when you run out of space. You know, if you run your own local LLM and stuff and do this locally, you won't have as many of these limits. Mm. Do you get what I mean? So this is a disadvantage. And you can only chat to Claude. There's a certain amount that you can chat with it per day. And eventually you reach that limit. So anyway, I've dragged that file in. Yep. 304 lines is how long the game is. <laughs> so a simple game like this. So I better introduce it because it doesn't know it made this game. Here is a game you made earlier, but you forgot you made it. <laughs> <That's nice. laughs> okay. You're going to make it feel silly. Actually, you're going to make it forget that it 
made it. It might actually remember. <laughs> players look like chickens. I mean, those... Well, say add legs. Maybe the chi- you say add legs legs to the chicken that animate as it moves around the screen. Okay, do you, that. You do that. Well, we're already doing this now. <laughs> well, add that too. That sounds okay. good. Uh, so... So what's happened now? Claude's response was limited as it hit the maximum length oh. allowed. So in a single response, it can't even do it. So, okay, this is where it gets complicated now. You were attempted to give me all the code. However, continue from your previous response. Place randomly, chick it, stops, and then we have to continue. Like, we can't run it in this anymore because it can't do it. So I'm just going to run it like this. Oh, that's uh, how uh, the uh, cows uh. move. But like, can you click the screen? Because I can't move. Click the screen in the centre. Uh, uh, you're going to start trying to race no, ahead. Oh, what? couldn't move very well either. Wait. I think we've messed it up. Oh. Oh, wait. I oh, can't like, move. Me either. Now we have to tell it we can't move properly. <laughs> oh, no. And apparently you win with one seed because that's what you got. How did I get a seed? You just, when you moved it a bit at the start, you did got I a move seed. It? You did move a bit. Oh, well, I wait, won. There we go. Let's say you were doing this in LM Studio and you wanted to use a local LLM. I gave it all the code in a single thing, right? Mm-hmm. And this is when I was trying to improve, you know, that town game thing. Tell me about that code. And it says, it's a JavaScript implement of a 2D game. And it literally told me about the code, you know, and told mm-hmm. me all about it and how there's Apple handling this scattered randomly around trees. So this is, uh, uh, this is called Deep Seek Coder V2 Lite. So this is not Claude. Mm-hmm. And then the, I said, can you respond with an updated version of the code that adds the various decorations to the towns? And look, in a single response, because you're not on an online limited one. In a single response, Deep Seek Coder V2 Lite was well, able to give me, me everything. Well, because it gave me all that code, and then I realised it was just not smart enough, and I said, the game won't load with that code. Is there something wrong? I get a black screen. Then it says, oh, here's some ways you can try and fix it yourself. Go ahead with that. Well, why can't it fix it? Because it's just it's just not smart enough. This is deep set code. So Claude three mm-hmm. is smarter than this. So you've got the advantage. Of, oh, you know, a local one. It, it it can do it all in one response. You don't have to do this back and forth. And you've got unlimited chatting per day to mm-hmm. it. You don't have to. But it's just not as smart as Claude. Mm-hmm. And even Claude's not you know fully smart with this. In case you're thinking, wait a sec. So where does this come into things? Deep set code of E two. Get- co-pilot to create this game instead do you want to try and see what it comes up we can do that maybe in another episode so basically you can see the limits we've got with these online llms they're pretty awesome all-rounders that beat pretty much any local thing because as you know that local one couldn't even fix the code but some local ones such as deep seat coder so deep seat coder here this is in lm studio and i just ran deep seat coder i can't it pushes my computer to the limit it's a 16b uh, model, but it really put. I couldn't even run this while I'm screen recording because it would crash the screen recorder. So that's why it's not loaded right now. Um, but yeah, something like this can be really good when it's got a specific task. Like Deep Seek Coder, all it does is code. It doesn't do anything else. So it's really good at just coding. It comes in two versions. So there's the normal... Oh, it's Deep Seek. I thought it was Deep Sea. No, no, no. Deep Seek. Okay. So it comes with Light, which is a version I've got, which is 16 billion parameters. Mm-hmm. But it also comes... Uh, with the normal version, which isn't light, and it's 236 billion parameters. Mm -hmm. So had I run this one on my computer, uh, and it's also got a certain amount of active parameters to make it run faster and stuff. Had I run this one on my computer, maybe it could have done the code and figured it out. This one, this 16B model, couldn't really figure out my code and... Well, why didn't you use the 236? Because my computer can barely run this one. Mm. It struggles. (laughs) You, you need, need a, a lot of room. No, a normal computer does not come with, look, 236 billion, so let's quantize that into Q8. That means you'd need about 256 gigabytes of RAM. Or just get Copilot to do it instead. Yeah, but then Copilot has the limits. It has a context window length of 128,000, so that's why it can talk for ages, you know, and then really get the context. But yeah, you'd really need 256 gigs of RAM at least, really, to run that at a, a quantization of Q8. What was it? The chicken game didn't work, did it? No, because the characters in the end didn't even move. Okay, so pretend you're using Copilot here. Let's, so, I'll grab this. Okay, we'll ask finally. Copilot. I just got a Copilot here. Uh, and... Maximum carrot limit. I can't even tell it because Copilot has a limit of how many characters, so I can't even paste in the code to show it. This is something that Gemini is really good at, actually, is... See, look, I fit all of that in, a single prop with Gemini. The characters won't move with the arrow. Okay, let's see. And then say to make the chickens look real. (laughs) 
you know. <laughs> the issue with the provided code is that it prevents the default behaviour of the arrow and was keys when pressed. This can interfere with the game's loop event handling. Here is the fixed code. Oh, Did it give... so it fixed it. It didn't have enough to respond in a single response to fix it. Well, tell it to respond in two responses. Unless, then. yeah, it's, it just doesn't have enough. Tell it to do it in two responses then. Like the no, you may as well use Claude because Claude is better. Um, just on the topic of how smart these things are, this deep seek thing, do you think this is smarter than Gemini? This really good one that you can run on your own computer, do you think that would be smarter than Gemini? It's smarter than Copilot? Well, it's got more parameters. No, Copilot's actually got a lot more parameters. Oh. Well, no, because Gemini's. it's local. Aren't local, it's local ones generally... Generally, dumb? but it's one that's not an all-rounder. It just focuses on coding. Oh, this is so it specialises. It, it specialises, and here's a little graph showing how well it's done on coding. Mm. It's the blue thing here. So Deep it's Deep always... Coder V2. It's better than GPT-4, which is Copilot. It's better than Gemini. So Copilot's actually better at Gemini than these coding mm -hmm. things. And it's better than the Claw 3 Opus, but the old Claw 3, not the new 3. 3.5. Mm -hmm. It's better than Llama 370B and better than Codestrel. So literally, Codestrel is another local one. Literally, it beat all of these in different tests. Except for this test, SWE Bench, it got 12%, but these ones over here, Gemini and GPT-4, got like 18% or something. Mm -hmm. So they did better than 12%. That's sort of the state of coding at the moment. Coding with AI. We tried. You tried to make a game. Do you want to play the Atom game that I made? May as well. May as well. <laughs> a game that actually ended up working. This one looked like it could have been a fun game, though. Yeah. Your one looked like it could have been. And you know what? Had you kept going at it, had we gone in and said, hey, they're not working to, to Claude, it probably could have fixed it for us. But why did it create it so it's not working anyway? I can't understand. Okay. Why does it create problems? Because Let's the just thing ask is... It. The characters are ignoring the... He's pressed, was, and... Oh, I hate it correcting me. You can't. It's just constantly correcting me. Okay, was. There we go. Was and arrow keys, please fix it. No, don't ask it please, because it's just, it's... I'm just unimpressed right now. You, you, you're Apologize using too for the much oversight. Words. You're right, the characters are not responding to the key presses. Let's fix this issue by adjusting the movement logic. Here's a corrected version of the game loop function. The issue was in the move chicken function. Let's update it to apply the momentum. These should fix the issue with them not working. The momentum system is now applied correctly, allowing for smoother movement while still responding immediately to key presses. To ensure everything works, replace the original game loop and move chicken functions in the full code with these updated versions. The characters should now move in response. Okay, so this one, we go to the function game loop, and we copy and paste this. We'd do it itself if it had enough in a single response. So let's find what it's asking. I'm going to type game, game loop. Okay, so this function, we've got to replace what's currently there with this. Oh. So copy and... See, cause, paste it over and that. And paste it over that. So it said that was wrong. We've fixed that now. But it, why did it create something that was wrong? Why it didn't it create mistake. it right in the beginning? Because um, if, if it, no, if it can go back and look at it, you know what you should do at the end of every instruction you give it? Yeah. Check the code to make sure it's correct. Yeah. Is this the move chicken function? Because it's talking about a move chicken function, but I can't find that. We'll just have to give it a go and see if it works. Oh, yes, it does. Here you go. No, mine oh, doesn't. Oh, it fixed mine. But didn't fix and mine. And it moves a bit like a chicken... Si Oh, now you've lost movement. Okay, there's there's clearly problems. You'd have to keep going with Claude and keep telling mm -hmm. it to fix it, fix it, fix it. Here, you can play this game. Yeah, very so, unimpressed with mine. What you got to do is always keep one atom on the screen. Always well, have at I least one. Click this? on it to delete them. Quick, quick, quick! Don't, you're missing. You're huh? missing it. Quick, quick! You got to. If it gets to ten, you'll what die. What am I clicking? Make sure it doesn't get to ten. You'll die. Oh. I can't even click the... Wait. Quick, quick. You've got seven atoms on the screen at once. You've got to get two more people. I can't. Listening. You've uh, reached the maximum number of atoms. Do you want me to start you I off? click them? Look, I'll, I'll do it. I'll, I'll start it for you. You've got to up... Oh, I don't want to click that yet. See this upgrade cursor? Yeah. $5. So this is what I made on Claude as, as, as practice. Why don't you get rid of all the atoms? Because then there's no more to split. Then you can't make but money. But then you, you can't lose the game. But then you can't win the game because you've got to win the game by buying everything. Um, all crud. Okay, so I'm going to upgrade the cursor. It's bigger now. It's easier to click them. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's bigger and now. you can... Okay, do it from now. 
Don't get rid of all of them. If you get two more dollars, mm -hmm. maybe let it split and then click it after it split. Oh, click it now. Oh. Okay. Buy that. Upgrade cursor. Just upgrade now. Well, you can. Okay, now it's bigger. So it's easier to get rid of them. They've got to be, yeah. <gasps> Don't get the last one. Okay. So let's stop for a while. Um, <laughs> now... <laughs> Now, don't kill it because you lose a game. If you get to $15, uh -huh. you can increase the maximum number of atoms. So you've got $6 now. Don't do it while it's over because you can kill two at once. Let it get to four and then click two at a time. So just let it get to four. Let it split. But you'd win the game this way. But it's very slow. This is but a slow way. It. It's like a dollar every five seconds. Think you could get $2 every five seconds if you wait. They split. Now kill two of them. At once. Just, just, no, no more. Oh. Oh. I mean, like, over time, like, just wait. Let's get you into a bit of a routine. Kill two. One, two. Leave the other two. Kill two. One, two. Now, increase the max atoms on the screen. See that where it's got, oh. um, here, the atoms. Max is 10. Click it. Now the max is 20. So you can have 20 on the screen and you're fine. Mm-hmm. Uh, did you want to upgrade the cursor again? Yeah, why not? To make it bigger. Yep. So when you get uh, $11, you can do that. For now, you just have to really focus. Okay, go, go, go. Get rid of almost everything. <laughs> it's getting a bit scary. <laughs> okay, now you can upgrade the cursor. Now it's bigger, and it's easier to click on these atoms. Okay. Um, another thing you should upgrade now is... Just let me answer this. Hello? Okay. okay, while you were gone, <laughs> while you are on the phone, um, you made $63. Okay. <laughs> I should go on the phone more often. <laughs> that okay. sounds good. Okay, so basically I'll, I'll get you to take over now, but what would you want to buy? Would you like to buy red atoms? That means they get $2 yes, for yes, red yes. atoms. Red and atoms. yellow? What's yellow ones? Yellows will get you $3 every one. So watch this. There's a yellow atom. See it? Well, I'd rather buy the yellow ones if than I, the red ones. You have to buy the them in order, I think. So see, yellow atoms... $46, I'll click on one, yep. 49 Oh, let me do it, that's um, fun. Uh, maybe get rid of some, so it can't go above 20 or you'll die, but don't get rid of all of them. <gasps> quick, 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 quick. I'm go, trying. go, go, go. Get them down to just four, uh, two, maybe, because two is manageable. Uh, do you want to make your little cursor thing bigger or increase the maximum number of atoms that you, before increase you die? Increase maximum number. Okay, so that is this one, increase maximum number. There you yep. go, that's 40. Do you want to do it one more time to sell it's 80 and you've got plenty? Why not? Yeah, there you go. So now you can have up to 80. Do you want to let it, like... Get a bunch of atoms on May the screen, well. and then I just click. And just keep an idea on that number. I could keep click it... randomly then, and yeah. I'll, I'll wait for the really big paying ones. Yeah. Oh, you like those yellow ones? Yeah. You can get bigger. The green ones give you four dollars oh, each. Oh, we'll do those. So green ones. There we go. Oh yeah. Four dollars each. <laughs> so this is um, I, I don't think I've seen this game exist anywhere. No, um, neither do it's I. A, interesting mechanic Ooh, wait. yeah there was 20 on the screen just then so you keep an eye on that number and yeah. you can kind of keep an eye on and i how can many make the thing bigger too can't i uh yeah so that's upgrade cursor 16 dollars. you could do it again actually wait. yeah well actually why not okay i'm unstoppable now. <laughs> <laughs> you can uh increase like have purple orange pink and buy some more colors they each one of those has more dollars uh -huh. that they give you so you know i think the pinks give you seven dollars each don't lose everything yeah, $7 each, it was 75 then you clicked on one year, That's 80 good. So the way it works is it's a risk game. You can have more atoms, and the more atoms you've got on the screen, the faster you're going to get money. Mm. But if you do it slow like what you're doing now, you're not getting money oh, very fast. See, they didn't even look like chickens. They didn't make sounds. They didn't even move in the end. <laughs> yeah, it just became a bit of a disaster. Look at how much money you've got now. I know. Uh, do you want to increase the max atoms again? May as well. Make it crazy. There we go, two, 160 atoms maximum. And I'll cursor size again, yep. There you go, you've got a huge cursor. <laughs> I'm not really unstoppable. <laughs> uh, you may as well even buy some more colours here. Orange, cyan, magenta. There we go. Um, leave it. Let's see how many atoms. You can get it to 80 before you really get scared, pretty much. Because it's 160 atoms you can have. And look at how fast the money goes. Look at a single click. 206. Wow! 247. You Gosh, know, it's this really like incremental that you could earn. Wow. 350, 400. See how fast you're <laughs> earning it. This incremental upgrade type yeah. system. Uh, increase max atoms again. Let's go ahead with it. You've got 320 is the max. Cursor size is even bigger now. Um, 
ridiculous. You can get some lime, indigo, teal, brown, maroon, oh, almost maroon. Um, oh, you just bought squares. The squares actually don't do anything. They just appear as squares just oh, for variety. Really? I, I, I hadn't coded it to the point where it does more. Yeah, increase the maximum atoms and the cursor size. <laughs> <laughs> you love this. So I do actually. Oh, wait. Let it go to, let's say, 200 atoms. Okay. So, oh, there's a maroon if you want to buy a maroon. The I've only got coded up to triangle. <laughs> uh, look at the money now. 1,800. Wow. You get more atoms. Let's, let's, let's max this out. Now, I had the maximum size here, so it can't get bigger than this. I oh, thought it's okay. ridiculous if it's any bigger than that. It's but. not. So, yeah. Oh, well, actually, technically, you can You can buy triangles if you want. No. I'm only going to buy things if they're, you know. No, but those things don't do anything. It's only triangles right now. So, triangles, because I haven't... Uh, you'd missed it. <laughs> okay. Let the atoms get up to near 1,000. Now do a click. 2,400. Oh, so, you just hit 1,400 wow. in a single click, which is pretty cool. I'll uh, click again. Uh, increase the max. Here we go. Let's just increase this really high. <laughs> yeah, there you go. But anyway, <laughs> you, you basically, you ended up beating the game. It's You've won. You, you, you're you unstoppable. Oh, you've yeah. got, you know, you, every time you click the mouse, you're getting like ten to $20,000 per wow. click. You know? <laughs> and it's going so, the computer's even having a bit of a struggle I'm lagging gonna, a bit. I'm actually going to ask Copilot to what? find a way I can make this sort of money <laughs> Really? In real money? Um, you just reached the maximum number. Look, double 224,000 is more than 40,000. You lost. No! Yeah, you lost. You tell me. It's okay. It's okay. And when you lose... Oh, I don't want to play it Yeah. Anymore. But there you go. That was... I was just... You didn't warn me. I was just... what? It was just fun. <laughs> well, no, but it needed more to it because you reached the end of the game. You reached everything that I um had pretty much coded. You know, well, that... Co that Claude coded. Anyway, Wait I... Wait a sec. What? But it's... All my upgrades... Are all your upgrades stay. You just lose the money you had. Oh, I'll make it again. So let's just do a review. What do you think about coding with AI helping you? What do you think about well, that? Well, I was... To be completely honest with you, I was very unimpressed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I mean, could you do it yourself from scratch? No. But no. I'm still unimpressed. With... So it's not quite there. This is something we'll come back to in a few years and you'll see, like, what is coding like in a few years? Well, the thing is, it's like you're coding something that would have been essentially coded back in the 80s. So in a few years' time, what are we going to say? It'll, it'll be coding that would have been equivalent to something of the 90s? No, but at the same time, you know? it's, it's kind of... It's it, it's more of a limit of the system that we, we we're in, you know, coding wow. you know, HTML5. Wow, you could be hypnotised by this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> anyway, that should no, that just, should be it now. I'm gonna watch. And look, it if now, you wanted to upgrade it again, it's sixty one thousand. You would have to pay to get that next upgrade to have more of these on the screen at once. Oh well, I've got I've got it. Oh, there you go. You can upgrade now. It's eighty thousand. <laughs> but they, it's. Do you notice they get slower over time? Yeah. When there's too many on the screen like that, they're slow. You love watching it a hole. You I make do. a hole and it fills in. <laughs> anyway, okay, this, is not, this is that silly little thing I asked Claude for a demonstration. We're not going to go. Um, I'll keep all of these games. I will have. Are you still going? I'm still going. Okay, I'm just worried it might crash the screen recorder because the computer's struggling. Yeah, that'll be it. Look, your money is five hundred and eighty-nine thousand. Oh, okay. I wish I could really make it like this. <laughs> No, I'm just worried that you reach a limit and my computer will crash. <laughs> like that screen recording will mess up oh, the video. Oh, wow, look at it now. Yeah, okay, okay, it, it, it's going to crash Chrome. And it gets double as hard each time. We need to close this window. Oh, great. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> okay, so we will see you guys. Your game has a, has a style to it. I like it. <laughs> Anyway, I the chickens don't look like chickens. The cows look like aliens in a spaceship. Hmm. And the flowers are so huge, bigger than the trees, even. <laughs> and bigger than the cows. And I mean, seriously, it's an alien planet. You never said it was on Earth, and you never you could you could fix it over time. Make the trees bigger, make the flowers smaller, make the characters move properly based on yeah. <laughs> make the chickens actually look like chickens and sound like chickens. And make this message appear on top of. Look, I'll leave these. Somewhere for people mm -hmm. to...
play with and they can make it better. Okay. There, there, there'll be a video. Be, <laughs> people will upload videos of themselves with improved versions of these games and maybe they'll just I'd like to see themselves. that, actually. Yeah. Let's just say if people did... Fix the Im- game up, improve, improve it. it. And make it the way I wanted it, which is... With actual real-looking chickens and, and cows that don't look like aliens. The problem is we'll get so many people doing it, we won't be able to. And then have a look at it. Look, what we'll do have is if someone them. wants to improve it, make a comment to this video with a link to your video showing off the game. So yeah. you feel free and to advertise we'll, your videos in the comments of this as long as it's we'll related to it. this. And then we'll, we might even do a future video where we look at that and comment on their video. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. maybe. Because please, make them look like real, real chickens. I want to see that. Well, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of OFS Time, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya.